hear a little bit of like a weird rumbling going on. Rumbling, that's right. Now this video was uploaded and shared by Lee from the channel Really Haunted and the video is labeled Going into the Attic was a very bad idea in my haunted house. Let's take a look. I mean, we know that Lee is supposedly living in a demonic infested house. At least that's what he believes. Pretty creepy to think about that, isn't it? That was pretty loud. Just. Oh my god, I was not expecting. Was that a shadow? Jeez. I kinda. It must have attacked him. Good, I mean. So it did not like him saying these prayers. What? a shadow guys there is something flying straight into the camera and then the chair gets wiped and he drops the camera upstairs and thankfully he didn't get hurt <laughs> all right it's back is that the attic again i think Guys, I think this video deserves 9 skulls out of 10. This was super unsettling, really creepy. We even saw the shadow attacking him in the camera. What else could we ask for, guys? And now we are following the paranormal files onto one of their latest investigations. And apparently tonight they went to the Church of Death, the scariest church in America. And it was apparently more active than they ever could anticipate. They captured some dark paranormal activity on camera inside of this notoriously haunted house of worship in Alton, Illinois. Oh. But here's a, from the Alton Evening Telegraph of Wednesday, the wow. 21st. Body found hanging from transom, absent since Monday. Relatives in England had worried needlessly over health. But, uh, so now we're on a little church tour, I His guess. Body was found suspended from the transom of a door leading from the Sunday school room at the rear of the church edifice. To, into a Lots of dark history. He been dead at least 24 hours. Indicated he had stepped from the chair after the sash cord had been affixed. Didn't find a side note or a farewell note. The body will be entombed in the Grandview Mausoleum pending receipt. This looks pretty creepy, especially when it's dark to like that. To begin tonight's investigation, we're going to do this a little bit differently. We just concluded our tour and our interview. We're going to do a sweep. We're alone here in the building. We're going to do a EMF sweep of the sanctuary and the area where Reverend Mercer took his own life. See? The left side is active. How's that? Look at this. Oh, weird. See that? Yeah. I've never seen that. That's from the. Oh. Lent mansion. That's from Lent Mansion last night. Yeah. Weird. That is quite unusual. So the camera basically bugged out and showed a picture from another investigation the day prior. Oh, they're on the podium. Oh, shoot, you missed oh. it. Yeah, go ahead. You can play with it. Woman there. Behind. Oh, look, you got one. You got one. Okay, show it. Oh, something popped up, huh? Okay, can you move? Are you are you sitting in the pew? Did you get it on video? Yeah. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. What is that? Oh, I can't. I've got like. Oh, and then it disappears. What? Moving. 
Wow, that does... Are you back there in the doorway? It's a problem. This is really awkward. Is this just light reflection, guys? Or is this something else? I wonder. Okay, if that's you materializing that left window pane, can you disappear? Tom. Tom, do you hear that? Tom. Did somebody hang themselves in here? I mean, it is very likely that we are looking at a paranormal event here. Certainly really creepy, I rate this clip 8 skulls out of 10, since I believe that Colin and his dad could have captured something otherworldly here. Make sure to check out the whole investigation on the paranormal files, and yeah, let's see what else we got tonight. Now we want to check out a video from channel Savage Mister, and he states this is a video from another channel that I started about six years ago. The channel went nowhere and this was the only video I was trying to do. <laughs> so this seems to be an old abandoned house oh that they're checking What's out now. <laughs> uh oh, we got it. Ghost of Grandma's doing it. Nice little family Hello. trip. Yeah. No, they're afraid to come mow it. A little door that opens up into, I don't know what it is, like just an attic storage area. I totally can't see dark. any of that, unfortunately. Some more, ooh, there's like a little, oh my I don't know about this. There. What'd that you say? Door, that door right there is opening by itself, set. Go there and see really? what it is. It's because y'all took off running like See if you can feel, oh, it is moving by itself, look at that. Oh. Holy That is strange. It looks like it's manually being moved by something. I don't think this looks like wind or anything. Alright. That might expose some more activity. Perhaps, if we're lucky. It is? Oh, I just felt something. That ain't, I ain't f***ing around. Okay. A cold drop. I felt something perhaps? like blow across my legs. Sorry, I've got to. Oh, that's creepy back there. <laughs> yes, what was that? Oh, that's strange. I think I saw three lights. Take a look again with me here. Look, see. I don't know if these are eyes. It could just be a light reflection, you know, from his camera light off of glass. I don't particularly think it looks like eyes. The door moving was really strange. I can't explain it. But is there something paranormal going on? Who can say? Five skulls out of ten. Unsettling? There's just so many other explanations for all of this. we want to check out a video from a paranormal enthusiast and I think it might be Indonesian I'm not 100% sure but apparently they caught something really creepy in a forest area let's take a look Wow. It does sound Arabic, doesn't it? There seems to be something in the distance that the man can see that is moving. Yeah, look at that. Here. But what is that? Could this be a spirit? Or is it a weird reflection of something? No, it doesn't make sense. It's like 
a white shape that is hopping in the distance. Well, this is really hard to, to say what exactly is going on here. It could be a mysterious capture. It seems to be close to the man's home or farm. Really? Is it paranormal? Perhaps? Is it something else? A creature? Or just a neighbor frightening him? Maybe. I give this clip six and a half skulls, since I think it has a certain fright factor. But we don't really see enough of that thing. What do you guys think? The next recording is actually a Reddit submission and it was posted by user Fast Eddie and he tells us, my niece caught this on her backyard camera. Thoughts? Was that inside of the house? Let's see that again. There seems to be something like almost flying behind the curtains inside the house and then disappearing. And it does move the curtains even. They believe this to be something paranormal. Maybe somebody threw something inside the house? Really hard to say. And the problem is this clip is just a few seconds long. Somebody actually commented, to me this looks like someone approaching the window and checking to see if it's locked. This could also be the case. I give this clip four skulls out of 10 don't really have enough detail about it. Unfortunate, but who knows, maybe this was a ghost. And now we want to follow Dennis on one of his latest paranormal adventures. He ventures into an abandoned building as he usually does, and he came across some really shadowy activity he reads. Let's take a look. Right, we have arrived. All right, so there seems to be something wrong with this crib and the bear in particular. Is that perhaps radiation? Ну вообще самая сильная активность была здесь. All right, so he leaves the camera at the crib now. Пока что тихо. What is that? Strange. I don't know what that was. Not that something was moving, but my red tishna. Ответь мне, кто ты? It was loud. Wow. Is there something coming out of the mirror? Did I see that right? Oh, short. I agree. Let's take a look at that again. Look closely. There's something black coming out of the hole in the mirror. Lying towards Dennis. Oh, short. Couldn't say it better. Now, at this point, we know that something paranormal is going on. Something sinister is living in this house or closet. Ну здесь явно не полтергейст. 
Not a poltergeist. Yeah, I think that might be something more demonic Swiss as well. Vaccine. Does make sense to me. Those EVP sounds, right? Still? Coming out of that box. It's like the noises of crying. Oh, the doll is moving. No. Now the paranormal activity unfolds even further. A shadow moving away and uh, there as well, but is that not his own reflection? I thought so, but oh, yeah, there's two shadows then. This is really awkward. This is really hard to say, guys. I don't know what exactly went down here and where those shadows come from. But what we know is that there's a lot of paranormal activity unfolding. I give this clip 7 skulls out of 10 since it's super entertaining, really creepy. And I think you all should check Dennis's channel out because he has tons of good stuff. 7 skulls out of 10. Now another video that was shared on TikTok and it was recorded by a young man that simply was recording his piano session, I suppose. But then something else happened. Let's see. Oh, that's Silent Hill, isn't it? A shadow behind him. Is it gone now? That is creepy. Look, there was something standing right behind them. Oh yeah, guys. I mean, we all see it clearly. What is that? He turns around straight away and it's gone. Now, talking about haunted house, huh? Several things could be the case as per usual, guys. This could be a friend that is just hiding behind this dude, you know, moving as soon as he turned around. But this could also be paranormal activity. This could be a shadow sighting. I wish we knew more about what is unfolding in this house, if there's anything else that was captured over the years. I mean, it certainly gives you a good spook if you're not really expecting it. But I give this clip 6 skulls out of 10. Picturing it being real, it is unsettling and I would be frightened a little bit. But once again, I would love to have more details about it. The next video was uploaded by ILMN Banyo Paranormal and the young man states paranormal activity was caught on camera in an abandoned underground shelter that he was exploring. Well, let's take a look. I'm here again in the, um, <coughs> um, in the thing. The thing. I already have my stuff in there, but I wanted to. I think I remember him visiting this place in the past, no? Here I am. To the room where I had my stuff. Is this room? 
So this is an abandoned underground bunker as far as I understand, correct? And he has visited this location in the past. Something's holding the telephone up. That's really creepy. I would bolt out of there as well. There's no way I just saw that. Now, what could have unfolded here, guys, in, in your opinion? What could have caused this phone to levitate? Was it trickery? Maybe just a friend helping him out with fishing lines? Or did something ghostly unfold? Six skulls out of ten, since I think it's really, really mysterious and unsettling. But I just don't see enough. If it was real, props to him. If not, it is still really well done, I find. The next video comes to us from user John the Paranormal Guy. John states that he has been investigating the paranormal for the last 8 years after a near-death experience. John visits various haunted houses and locations trying to confirm or debunk the sightings that people have experienced. Today we will be looking into his visit to the old San Antonio Cemetery. The cemetery is quite old, established in 1853 and is apparently home to over 3,800 graves. John states that from the moment he entered the cemetery he felt a strange energy, as though someone was watching him, although he was definitely alone. Or was he? As John is filming the dark graveyard, he captures this chilling footage. A dark figure can be seen to the left of the flashlight. However, as the light hits the entity, it suddenly disappears. Could it possibly be the trapped soul of one of the people buried at the old San Antonio Cemetery? John states this is one of the most chilling captures and I can only imagine what it was like to be there in person. Creepy. Now we want to check out a video that was uploaded by a young man and he posted it to the paranormal group of Judas Haunted History on Facebook. Apparently they heard a lot of strange noises at night, particularly in their kitchen area, and they set up a CCTV camera to see if anything could be captured eventually. This is what they came up with. Batman's good to keep around. No, no, you don't become immortal by making deals with angels. You gotta go to the other bats for that. There. What? What is that? Is there something coming up his stairs? Look! There is like a figure walking up and then disappearing. Wow. How do we explain that? Now, if this is not really good editing, then what else is that? Is it a real ghost? I think it could be. Wow. This does really look unsettling to me, guys. I mean, unfortunately, we don't know what unfolded in this house before. And even though it's a really short clip, it kind of gives him the shivers a little. So something was perhaps walking up the stairs, visiting the man and his family. What do you think? I really like this clip. I give it nine skulls out of ten. Although short, it's super, super spooky in my opinion. Maybe we can find out more in the future. Guys, thank you so much for watching. 
Please leave me a like and a comment if you can. And I hope I see you all in the next episode. Stay frosty.